right, Jamie, thanks for taking the time to talk to us tonight. First of all, let's talk about the injury that most fans are going to be interested in, and that's uh, Luke Bembo. What can you tell us? Um, Luke Bembo, unfortunately, went a little bit backwards after the last time he came on, and we tried to get the 45 minutes out of him at Banbury, but um, pulled his groin. He's, uh, you probably might have seen him out on the pitch uh, before the game on Tuesday night. He's, he's back doing some running, straight line running. He's out with us today. He's in, uh, in the gym with us today and he'll be back out on the pitch doing some changing of directions. Uh, I'd say he's about a week away from coming back into training with the, the lads. So this time next week, I'm hoping he's, he's out doing a, a gentle session with the lads. And uh, how long would you say possibly from that week would be before we'd see him? What I normally say is I like to see them through a week of training um, to give them the full all clear and then we're bringing him back in gradually. We, we rushed him a little bit last time, our fault, because of um, lack of strikers and injured strikers. At that time, we had Leroy struggling. We had uh, Nathan Kane, who just got injured at that point as well. So the, the strikers we had around, um, we also had Shanks, Shanks out as well. So we, the, the strikers or people that could play up top were, were limited to where we could go. So we thought, because of what we'd done with him in training, because he'd come through three one-hour sessions, um, we thought it, it was fine for that. But the uh, the plan went a little bit out the window with Cole going off the pitch earlier than we wanted and uh, having to do more running caused, uh, has caused us another problem. And uh, from a long-winded injury to probably one that's happened more recently, you mentioned to me on Tuesday that Gif Moose has injured his shoulder. How long is that likely to see him out for? Yeah, I'm just about to go and see him in a minute. Uh, he landed on his shoulder. I think he separated his collarbone from where it joins to the shoulder blade. Um, so we've got him strapped up at the minute. It's feeling a lot more comfortable today. On Tuesday night, he couldn't lift his arm above his shoulder. Uh, so he's, he's gained virtually full range of movement back. We just need to make sure that's strengthened up again now. Um, so we're looking at probably another week of that being strapped up before we give that the full test. And of course, there's the, uh, the injury that you've got to deal with week in, week out in Carl Baker. How's that looking at the minute? Carl Baker, um, Carl Baker's Carl Baker. He keeps going. Um, we have to deal with little niggly injuries with him. He's, he suffers with his calves. We've had quite a bit of time with him being on 3G. That's not good on calves. That doesn't make them a happy place. But uh, so yeah, he'll be. Uh, he, he doesn't doesn't want to miss. He knows how to look after his body. He's a he's a pro. He knows how to look after himself. So we pick and choose when we use him. When we when we push him a bit more in training, he knows what to do. So uh, he's uh, as soon as he comes off the pitch, as soon as he comes out of training uh, or a game, he's straight into. Um, doing the recovery work, he gets onto the bikes, he's on the foam rollers, he's, um, he's icing everywhere we need. So uh, yeah, he looks after himself well. And of course with Carl there was that tackle as well on Tuesday that seemed to be maybe a stamp on the top of the foot or the ankle. Uh, did he have any problems with that after the game? No problems with that. We took him off because we were looking after his calves. Um, we thought um, coming up to half time, he was he's kept he stretched a few times. Actually, after half time, what we didn't know until, until we took him off, he actually was feeling good and uh, felt better in the second half than he did the first. But we were looking after him, trying to look after him. We could have done with him out there as well, really. You probably saw he wasn't very happy about coming off um, because he was feeling he was feeling that good. But we'd, we'd made the call by that time and he was sat down. And then, of course, you know more than we do, but is there any more uh, injuries that we should be aware of? Casaboni, uh, Casaboni hyperextended his knee um, three games ago, and um, we're bringing him back from that one. I'm going to go in there in the you know, treatment room in a minute and work with Casa. Um, it's a lot about uh, making sure again his brain is linked up to the muscles, so that stabilises his knee and making sure all that's working. It's nothing to do with his hamstring problem that he had before, so uh, that's that's a good thing. But we're just again making sure he was right before because he's had so much time out coming back in and playing so much time for us. We're making sure he's he's right again before he comes back out. So it, it, I'm thinking he'll be involved in some way on Saturday. Awesome. And uh, are you yourself, I mean, this is completely away <laughs> from the physio side of things, but are you yourself expecting to see some of the younger players, maybe from the under 21s and under 18s, featuring on Saturday? Um, I don't know about Saturday. I think we've got everything we need to make sure we go through this round on Saturday. Um, I can't see them being brought in for this one, but they will be involved in and around 
other games um, as we come through. Awesome, thanks for your time, Jamie. And I'll let another you one, on another you injury I've just oh, remembered. Yeah. Carry on, mate. Yeah. From Saturday, awesome. Kane Noble. Oh yes, Kane Noble after he got stamped on uh, on his on his shin. So we we sent him to hospital. We got him to take the well. Um, Damien McCrory took him to hospital, and um, the doctors there said he they didn't think he'd broken it, didn't need an X-ray, but um, a lot of swelling. Uh, you could see the four stud marks on his shin where he was where he was stamped on, and um, so he came in on Tuesday, talking to him on Tuesday, and he was saying that he was he was feeling a lot better, and he was hoping to be back in. Uh, in contention to be back in on the pitch on Saturday, but I've still got to have a look at him yet and see what he looks like. Awesome, thanks for your time, so, Jamie. No problem, thank you.